All right, I got a feeling it is going down today. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Bus or I Shinobi. Today we have episodes 37 and 38 of our One Piece watch through. In the last two episodes, we got a very good look into Nami's childhood and this this impact that Bella Mare actually had on her, kind of embedding this whole vision of family in her, showing her the importance of family and what she did to die for it. And now the these Marines have showed up that are very clearly corrupted. We've already seen their interactions with Arlong, and they're actually here to confiscate her treasure. And she stole from pirates, but stealing is stealing. It's it's a joke because we know that the, that treasure and that money is going to go back to Arlong anyways. That being said, we're going to hop right into it. See what, I mean, even Nami can do at this point against these Marines, hoping that Luffy and all of them catch on and actually go and help her stand up for her. But with that being said, we're going to hop right into it. If you're new to the channel, drop a sub, hit that big white bell so you see future episodes. Drop a fat like on this one. Let's just hop right into it. Is that one of the Marine boats they sing? Oh, yeah. Arlong's got his casual attire on. <sighs> It's the same as his regular attire, though. Ah, uh, he offered the deal. Interesting. And I, again, I don't think he is lying about that. But that's the thing. It's, it's all going to come to a climax because these Marines are going to take it. It's like his roundabout way of doing it. Although I don't know how much Arlong has to do with them confiscating it. I just hate how he does that. <laughs> don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> ah, I did it. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. She's not going to say yes. This is eight years of saving. Oh, she's got a play. She's got an angle. True. The lowest of the low. Mm. The thing is, he has an end with Arlong. Mm. Just gonna start looking. Surely she hit it in like a. I mean, we've seen sort of where it is. It's like it buried somewhere. She's gonna defend her treasure though. Yeah. Not gonna stand by and watch. Yeah, he does not care. He's more about money. Gen's about to snap. Just keep beating him up, Nami! Oh no! What does he mean tangerine orchard seems suspicious? Call it still calls it Bellamare. Yeah, for real. Oh my gosh. You defend that, Nami. Gin stepping in, man. Let's go. He's a hero. More than you'll ever be. Oh. As soon as she should, said she's joined the pirates, he knew it was for good. There's no reason this, this little girl would agree to that. Oh, not even just him, everyone. For the sake of her staying safe. This man is so out of the loop. Shut up, dude. Oh, let's go. This served no purpose here. I don't think they realize uh, how much of an end this guy has with Arlong. I'm surprised that Nami isn't going after them. Arlong told him. Arlong told him this is Arlong's roundabout way once again like I said about going about it and she just realized it <laughs> saved up all those years just have it stolen away in like a technical standpoint too so that's how it all goes it all snaps because Arlong breaks the deal inherently but he inherently doesn't break the deal it's he's using a third party he is just scum yeah, we've seen more bad than good out of the Navy thus far. But he actually... Oh, no. Yo, beat him up, bro! All the blood. Blood money. I'm surprised they are not just rolling them right now. And he promised him a, a cut. Oh, my gosh. Just so that Arlong doesn't have to go up the village either and free Nami. I have a feeling he wasn't supposed to reveal that Arlong sent him too, though. That way he could keep Nami on his side. Because he's just important the entire thing. No. No. Oh my... He's still thinking about Ken! Huh? A good move. Okay, she might be able to survive. Aww. Okay, the doctor is still alive, yeah. Luffy, I cannot, bro. I mean, Loki, yes. 
He can't help though. It seems almost ridiculous like to take Arlong on. Just running with blood, blood fury right now. Even I said Arlong wouldn't break the deal. He is inherently breaking the deal. I can't even say he's not technically. He is. His lips. That is shameless. Yeah, I, I think I think she'll be okay. I think if they wanted to kill off her character, they would have done it right then and there. I, I don't I don't see it happening in general. Oh no, Nami, don't act hastily. She's got death in her eyes. His grin. Yeah, like I said, he's using a third party too. He's such scum. Poor Nami. Eight years, man. <sighs> Guess you're stuck here. That's what I said, Nami. Her whole life. And you just do it again. Oh my gosh. They literally have to fight back or she's just stuck in this eternal hell her whole life. But the saddest part is she can't even be with her in her village. She has to be with them. He, she, he knows she won't risk the whole village. Yeah, he, he, he's manipulating because he, he knows she cares too much about them. True. Really? Oh, all the world sees. Yeah, that, that won't take long at all. Yeah. Get in there, Usopp! 1v1 Arlong! True, actually. Ain't got nothing to complain about. Oh? Love cook? <laughs> it's so bizarre seeing Zora with one blade. It looks unnatural. Go where? It's going down soon, bro. The whole vibe has shifted now. There's, there's no other choice. It's either that or we live in this uh, this entire, you know, sort of prison the rest of time. Oh no, they're gonna go before she can even get there. They did it for her. They're all on board. They're fighting for their lives, basically. Is it fight now or just die here? Everyone's hella on board. I'm not shocked though. Yeah! Uh-oh. Okay, she made it back in time. Oh, she has to put on a face. Oh my gosh, this is so sad. That is so sad. They can just tell. It's so obvious. Not gonna work anymore, kid. You gotta do what has to be done. Than it was for them. Just fought the long fight for eight years. They're planning on dying, man. They know it's an impossible fight. Better than rolling over and just dying like this, though. Yep. Oh my gosh, dude. They're done living like this. They know that even eight more years, it wouldn't matter. Like, they, there's literally no end to Arlong's rule unless they stand up for themselves. Dude, go get Luffy in them, bro! You actually stand a chance! I'm convinced that Arlong could take all of them on by himself if he wanted to. Not to mention his whole crew. He slept or he walked away. He doesn't need to know. He's so straightforward for her. Too straightforward. But it's what she needs. Someone willing to fight for her, not even caring about what's happened already. The eyes, they're dark. Oh, shoot. That's game time, baby. Oh my god. She remembered it's what means the most to him. Oh, the crew is here too. That's hype. That is that is so cold. They ready. Usopp's got the goggles. Get in there, boys. 
It's showtime! Shoot! We still got them too! They're here to help! Oh! They've already tried to fight him. That's why they're all scuffed up. Yeah, I'm surprised they're alive. How did they get out? <laughs> they're waiting for Luffy and all of them to get there? <laughs> <laughs> the crew! Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Dude, they got they they on a mission too. God dang, dude. I'm really excited to see Sanji fight some more, especially out of everyone. And Zoro using one sword. No one can. Dude, they know what happened with Don Krieg. <laughs> and you just hear Arlong's laugh. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Daddy's home. Bro. <laughs> I can't, dude. That was one of the coldest anime intros I have ever seen in my life. It wasn't even like an intro, but I guess sort of setup. Just Luffy's dynamic shift. It's so his character to once again, not even care about what's been going on this entire time. He just cares about Nami and wants her to be okay. And he didn't step in until she said, Luffy, help me. That's that's all he needed. He said, hey, say less. And they are ready. I am, I am ready. Episode 38, let's get it. Also, you should probably bandage up that arm. That cannot feel good. You've been stabbed twice now. Actually, that shoulder was like four or five times. <gasps> no, that. It's, it's it's like a it's like a silent air, or it's like a it's like a vibe in the air. Oh, it's showtime. <laughs> Remember that name. I love the red. The funny thing about is about Luffy is like oh. Oh, they recognized him. The thing about Luffy is like compared to Arlong, Arlong is just terrifying looking, dude. Luffy just looks like a regular guy. That's the best part about him. He's walking straight to Arlong. Oh my gosh. <laughs> They're nothing, bro. Arlong knows he means business. You've upset Nami. He doesn't even, he doesn't need to answer you, Arlong. Boom! Oh! Oh, he's gonna be pissed. Oh, they ain't ever seen Arlong take a hit like that. Oh my god. Uh oh. Is he gonna answer him? Seeing Nami and all that pain set him off. Oh man. He's just so straightforward about things. The whole crew. Sanji, let's go! The boys are here. Where's Usopp and Zoro? <laughs> I saw the feet. I knew Zeph would be so proud. Oh shoot! We gonna cook up some some fish tonight, baby. <laughs> Dude, I don't even want the octopus to get hurt. He's so nice. Look, sign and oh god, he's struggling. The elusive long nose. Which means Nami lied to you. I mean, the line is severed one way or another. It doesn't matter anymore if they know Nami's a traitor, honestly. They they don't want anyone to get hurt. Hey, shout out Johnny and I, I honestly forgot, forgot the other guy's name. They they know what, what's going down. They know what to do. And they tried to take out Arlong by themselves, bro. Like, really? Luffy don't need one except for family. Then Diesel would be so proud. Yep. Arlong's not shaking yet. What you gonna do, Arlong? Still not. Despite rowing his whole crew. Huh? What? Is it a beast from the, the Grand Line? Kind of like the cow? Really, Arlong? You, you need backup? They got like a guard dog? Oh, it's Momu. I feel like Momu's still gonna be like scared of, of Sanji and, and Luffy. Is, is it still gonna have the bonk on its head? Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's like embarrassed. Bro, this poor sea cow. He looks so sad. He sees Luffy inside. <laughs> oh, oh, it's 
crying. Just getting flashbacks to being beat up. Don't hurt the poor Momu anymore. Yeah, go away, buddy. <laughs> His slow drift away. I can't. Oh, Arlong's got a vein popping now. <laughs> the... <laughs> he's, he's like, I will find you and kill you. Dude, poor Momu. Oh, shoot. Hey, hey, Momu, fight back, baby. No, no, Arlong, not no. Momu, don't do this. Don't do this, little guy. Come on. Yeah, he just has business with Arlong. Oh my! Is he anchoring himself so that he can like stretch and punch? He's got a move coming. Or twist? <laughs> that can't feel good, bro. No! He looks so sad. Ah, uh, you know what you're dealing with now, yep. <laughs> yeah, he is anchoring himself. He's gonna destroy the house. Oh my gosh, he's taking Arlong Park down. Oh my gosh, when he saw the pinwheel and said he got an idea, this is it. A, a mastermind. <laughs> Gin's just amazed. Dude, tell me Momu doesn't die. Oh no, he's just flinging him. I thought he was gonna launch it behind him. Okay, I think Momo will be okay. He, he won't come back though. He is he is dipping back to the grand line, 1 million percent. He came here for Arlong. He said it's a waste of time. Arlong, you gotta stand up for yourself, bud. I'm gonna see cow. Well, it's showtime. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if Zoro took the back seat since he has one blade and he got his very big highlight with the whole thing with Mihawk. And I think this is really just Luffy's fight. Sanji's had a big highlight too. I hope Nami comes in and is part of this. I feel like it would be most appropriate. But again, this is a Luffy fight. He's just knocked out. He's got the swirly eyes. This crew's knocked out. It's just Arlong. This is a less, it seems like a less dire situation than Don Krieg too. Cause I mean, they're on the water with Don Krieg. I don't know. This seems a lot more doable. Like real is like from what we know right now, it should be a really easy fight with Luffy and these three versus Arlong. I guess they have to get through, get through those three too. His lackeys. And I mean, these guys aren't, aren't a joke or anything either. Oh, it's going to have them three by them three. Makes sense. Yep. Oh, we have seen that Arlong has some insane anger issues. I'm kind of surprised he hasn't popped off yet. He gets mad. Oh, Usopp. <laughs> See, Usopp is like a scared type character, but in a less annoying way, like... Like, I love Demon Slayer, but Zenitsu is like a scared, annoying a lot of the time. Usopp, he's just Usopp. So I miss that. Were they talking about cooking octopus? Don't cook him, man. He's nice. Is Luffy actually stuck? He's actually stuck. Ah! <laughs> God dang! Dude, he's actually. There's no way he's stuck. Luffy, please just stretch and punch him or something. Someone help him! on the rocks i thought his head was just gonna stick through it oh little delayed reaction but oh, he punched it thank you thank you backing up your boy <laughs> again zeph would be so proud <laughs> oh hell yeah does he not know who Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I love cooking insults. He said, come on, baby. That was a lot of knuckles to crack. It's teasing us with Arlong, man. I want to see Arlong fight. That is so creepy looking. <laughs> come on, Luffy. Come on, dude. Just punch the ground or something. Man's gonna have to fight from being stuck. He's just gonna hit his legs. He reminds me of Flat Stanley. You guys remember that? <laughs> oh, Zoro will slice you up, dog. I don't want to see this octopus die either. He's got a very wholesome attitude. He's straightforward. There's the ones hiding. God dang, dude, it is setting up. <laughs> 
The little flapping of Luffy. Oh, it worked. Just keep doing that. I do not believe that he can't get himself unstuck. I do not believe it. Usopp, get in there. Oh, he's chasing after Usopp, not Luffy. No way does he actually leave to chase after Usopp, right? <laughs> Jump him. Yeah, for real. Oh, Usopp set up a shot. Oh, he's drawing him away. Very smart, actually. Five head Usopp leading him away from Arlong Park. His ego's been shattered. Hey, he's playing smart still, though. I was gonna say it's ironic. He's got the nose, he's got the mouth. <laughs> Her whole worldview of pirates has changed. He doesn't care anymore. Oh, grazed him. Uh oh. Ooh. He's gonna lift him out? See, I'm just not shocked by that power, though. I expected this out of him. Oh, my. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. He has to get unstuck. Oh. Oh, my God. Dude, there's teeth going out. He bit him back. <laughs> I can't with Luffy. Bro, someone destroyed the rock. I simply don't believe that Sanji couldn't kick it or something. That was actually really smart of Arlong, though. What? Oh, true. Actually, though, what do they do? I guess so. They have to fight them as fast as possible. Okay, I'm a lot less confident now. Or Nami, maybe, knows what's going on. One of the village people, maybe? I'll take the octopus. <laughs> yeah, again, he's thinking in terms of cooking. I mean, he had flashbacks to when Sanji had to save him whenever uh, he was drowning in the same way. He is such a hindrance that he can't swim or, I mean, like, even like Arlong said, even a normal person wouldn't survive. How long can he hold his breath? He's going deep, bro. Why haven't they started fighting yet? Octo man. Oh no, this is not gonna go well. I'm scared. I had confidence. He is quite low. He's like a prison. Luffy, you have to break yourself out, brother. Oh gosh. Nice, good dodge, huge roll. My boy's already been playing Elden Ring. Usopp doing his job, actually though. Oh, these episodes are exhausting, but God, they are fire. The, the whole fight has been set up. I'm kind of sad that Luffy has been put in this position because I really want to see him go all out in a fight, just like pretty much like fisty cuffs. But it does raise the tension quite a bit, of course, having him underwater. They're racing against the clock, trying to defeat them so they can go save him. But in the same case, they still can't because even if they defeat the two lackeys, Arlong's still there. And I don't think Zoro and Sanji can take Arlong down. I legitimately think that Luffy is the only person that can take him down. I mean, he's this giant fish dude. And he obviously has taken punches and taken hits and he's been to the grand line. So at this point, I mean, they're not, they don't have a ton of options aside from Gan and the villagers, maybe Nami coming into the picture. I, Nami has to be the key to it all, honestly. It would make the most sense. It would be the most appropriate. She has to be the one that either frees Luffy or fights with them. But with that being said, uh, uh, amazing two episodes. I'm so hyped to see what happens in the rest. Drop a sub if you're new to the channel so you don't miss the rest of this. This entire fight drop a comment down below let me know what you thought of the video and what you thought of my reaction and as always i hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day as per usual and i'll catch you in the next one peace peace